Welcome back, guys. How are you doing? Back at you with another Age of Empires 3 game, and today we have man like a Zank playing as Russia. This guy flying high right now. Man of the moment. Pretty much the star of the last ESOC tournament. Uh, was it the Winter Championships? I think they called it. The Winter Championships. Absolute. He came third, but he should have made the finals, and he was just the most spectacular player in the whole tournament. A's coming back after having a long break and he's better than ever. Is that the trick? I always say you never quit this game. You only ever take extended breaks. Sometimes that break can be one week. Sometimes it can be six months. Sometimes it can be two years. You always come back, baby. Let's keep this game alive, baby. And uh, God damn, I love this game so much. Steam numbers doing really, really well. We've got DLC, although it's been delayed. You know, it's 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 going to be around the corner. It's going to come. It's going to hit us in 2025 before we know it. We've got another patch launching. This game goes from strength to strength, and I love it. So, Azank playing as Mother Russia. Going against Purushiki Kids, who is no slouch. This guy is, is absolutely insane. He's very, very good. Normally plays like, he's very, we've seen his like Japan play with the 300 food stuff. You know, he's, 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 this guy's kind of created his own builds, uh, insane builds as well. And, and uh, he's really been uh, integral in the meta for Japan, like for the last year. Like, it, this guy's insane. Playing ports, though. Can't recall seeing his ports before, so this will be interesting. No 10 10. We are just going to see the 12 or 13 villager age up into Feitorias. 1v1 Musk. Interesting. Let's have a look at this deck. Pretty standard stuff. Does have nine Musketeers, which, uh, yeah, I'm going to say it's not that very good card. I mean, it's, it's okay. But, yeah, it's good early age free, but, you know, they, it's not a Shadow Tech unit. It's not like a, a Halberdier or a Skirm, which are technically veterancy when you get into age free. So there's no 400 resource having to tech there. Uh, the same with Goons as well. They're essentially a veterancy unit. Five Orton Guns does have Grape Shot as well, so maybe we'll get to see some of that this game. But let's have a look at the man, the myth, the legend. Man of the moment. Wait, is he aging up with an 11 villager age up? Oh, God, A's, this is why we love you. You can never leave us, A's. Where would, who else would do an 11 villager age up? God, good me. Goodness gracious me. So he's doing it. Has he picked up a food treasure this game? He picked up 75 wood, which is great. Pirashiki picked up 60 coin, 75 coin. A's, ah, he did get 75 food, so that definitely helped. 30 coin. Uh, but that's it, really. That looks like that's it. So maybe maybe he saw the 75 food and thought, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to go for an 11 villager. So he's, hey, look at the... T oh my goodness me. This is going to be a scary ass age. Is he going to go for forward base, though? That's the question. Let's have a look at his deck. Has gone for the standard distributivism. Does have a standard deck. Um, has ransack in there. Infantry, siege attack, plus 50%. Um, does have the church. Spice trade. Uh, Suvirov. Uh, yeah, other than that, pretty standard. So it could be like an H2 build. Knowing him, it could still be a church build. It could be an eco build with the spice trade. You just never know with uh, with A's. It's just a mystery. And he's actually moving three villagers forward as well. So is he going to... I guess he's agent with the Quartermaster, right? Yeah, so maybe he'll build the outpost with the 400 wood. Honestly, I don't... This guy, A, I swear, he literally queues up into a game and thinks about the build inside of his head, and he literally makes it up as he goes along. I swear to God, this guy makes it up as he goes along, and that's why he's a goddamn genius. So 400 wood coming in. He gets a barracks, a house, that's 350. And that leaves him with 50 wood, extra wood over. With, with distributivism, that gives him enough for 100 uh, wood left. Maybe that's going to be for some strelets. Five Cossacks are on the way. I imagine that's going to be coming out from the blockhouse. I think the blockhouse will get built in time. He's going to be getting 70 coin from the treasure here as well. The agent from Pirashiki Kids is here as well. But look at this. We are going to see five Cossacks coming in from the blockhouse before five minutes. Usually what you see is five Cossacks in someone's base around 5 minutes 20 
That's the sort of that's sort of the usual. Maybe 5:30, depending on how quickly you, you, you age up and get that block out. And look at this. At five minutes, he's in his base. Five minutes, he is in his base with five Cossacks, and he might get punished for it. He's trying to get two villagers, but he got a little bit greedy. But he will take one villager. That's probably about seven percent of his economy there. So five Cossacks coming in because he was so early. He just probably caught him off guard. Farming and explorer here as well. The old traps coming in, so he's 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 doing eco behind this. But I love this. Just basically the 11 villager age up here has allowed him to be about 20 seconds faster. Which honestly can, you know, can just catch your opponent off guard sometimes. And, and it, it has done here. And he, all of his villagers have been inside his TC and he's not been able to gather anything. He hasn't got enough resources for Minutemen right here. He's going to be taking down that TP so that the kind of uh, XP trickle for Portugal is going to be pretty bad once that TP goes down. So he wants to try and take that TP down relatively quickly. Got some beautiful birds just flying overhead here. Just look at the look at the graphics. Look at look at the uh, the the Sega Mega Drive graphics on those birds. Oh, oh baby, Down Syndrome birds. Okay, let's have a look at Pirashiki. He's almost aged up. He has. It looks like he's kind of making sure he's got enough for Minutemen. Uh, what was he aging up with? The Ethiopian Queen. Ethiopian Queen is pretty much nine times out of ten. You'll see people go for the Ethiopian Queen against Russia. Russia, one of those series that are technically kind of weak against the uh, cavalry type units. So shipping them is very, very efficient. Pair that with Minutemen or two patches of Minutemen. You got yourselves a decent push there. But A's, you know, he's literally just made the one batch of Musketeers and then shipped one batch of five. Cossacks, and he's kind of done damage that he wants to do. He aged up super early. He was in his base at five minutes. You know, he's forced, probably going to force this covered wagon to be quite defensive. Yep, yeah, sort of. And uh, he's taken a villager down. He's taken a TP down. So, you know, he's done decent damage. He's done some decent damage. He's going to see the Ethiopian Queen age up that gives him those, uh, is it six or five or six shot at warriors? Five. And he's making, like, like his uh, namesake on his uh, deck, he's making musketeers. Kurashiki, and he's shipping nine musketeers. I'm not sure about that. Like, surely just, like, ship eight halberdiers, you know? But hey, this guy's got better reload than me, so I will shut the fuck up. Second block is going down for Aces. Let's have a look what Aces is up to. He's going up. Basically a semi-FF with Russia. That's what I like to see. Double TP as well. And he's gone for Stagecoach. So we look at Aces here. He went for five Cossacks. Uh, 700 wood. And uh, that paid for uh, the extra TP and Stagecoach. It's now paying for this uh, second block house as well. And then he went for 700 gold for the age up. So... Uh, oh, Okay, I thought we saw a dock there for a second. Um, so, yeah, so guys, really, really basic build order. 11 village up. Get that block house down with the 400 wood age up. Have all your villagers on food. He did put villagers on wood to get an, a start a, a TP upon age up, which, you know, th that's fine. But then he put all of his villagers on food and uh, made one batch of masks. Then 700 wood for the, for the double TP stagecoach eco. And then he went for 700 gold for the age up. So, yeah. I mean, pretty pretty basic build. I like it, though. You know, that 11 villager. He was in his base at five minutes. And that fought, that actually buys A's so much time. It buys him so much time. Because Pirashiki's being idled. He can't do what he wants to do. He's forced to play defensively. Okay, we do have uh, veteran musketeers here now. I'm still not sure what the veteran musketeer stuff's all about. Like, surely Halberdier, Casadil, Casador, or even Cass Goon plays better here. But, uh, you know, if he gets the free organ guns early, then it's good. He manages to take down a blockhouse, and he gets away without getting hit by the two Falconets. So A's instantly shipping those two Falconets. Pirashiki kids, now it's his turn to get his artillery shipment. Free organ guns, for the love of God, please nerf this card. It's so good, that be. Hiya. I've seen this card single-handedly win games. It's infuriating. 
<laughs> he's infuriating. Ace has to be careful here, though. You're pushing into your, your opponent's base. They have defender's advantage, especially Portugal. There is double, even triple, Minutemen batch potential here with double TC, triple TC fire, whatever it is. So Aze needs to pick his moment carefully here. Make sure he gets the right angle of attack. And I think going up north here, sticking his units around. This is what I would do. I would stick my units up around here and just make sure that I can't get pincered and cornered. Which you see here, he's going to get flanked from the south. Orton Gun's going in and, and oh, the Falconet kind of got caught between his units. But the Orton Guns aren't firing at what they're supposed to be firing at. Huge mistake there. But he's going to survive with one organ gun left over. And that's all that matters. Just keeping one artillery piece alive is all you need for the leverage in these battles. And now it's Musk Falk versus Musk Falk. You know I'm all about the Musk Falk, baby. And uh, now he gets, now he keeps that one organ gun alive. He can be the one to apply pressure. But it not if he's not paying attention. And Ogrenik going to come in and whippy that out. Get out of here. Pirashiki kids not paying attention and just like that the game has become even again because that one organ gun it looks oh my god that one organ gun could have literally given him the leverage to win that game single-handedly he did ship his six opera nicks, which i love this card i think it's such a good card you see here Jumping such a unique far. unit opera nicks. they're such a unique unit and they're one of the reasons why russia are so good late game um uh, missing some villagers there but one of the reasons they're such a good late game sieve is because these units are insane. These units are insane. They have 64 siege. They have a cavalry unit, so they're very fast. Uh, they have a free multiplier. They do 60 damage. 60 damage versus villagers. And they do 40 damage to artillery. So yeah, they're, they're a very good, uh, like annoying unit to play against. Anyone that's played Russia in the late game and tried to deal with these units is so annoying. Aze is down 2k score though. Pirashiki is on 3 TC. He's booming away. He's on 37 villagers. He has Fatoria, so he's more like on 40 villagers. He's making some more artillery. Uh, so the, the Musketeers is good here. So pairing veteran Musks with a couple of organ guns. But where are the organ guns going to be popping? Ooh, those Opronics could have been dangerous there. Orton guns. We're going to get a kill against one of those Opronics. But again, these Opronics, it's all about, it's just, it's buying time for A's. You know, he wants to, the problem is Russia outscale a lot of civilizations, but Portugal's probably one of the one civs that they don't outscale. I don't think there is a civ that outscales ports. A's is on 35 villagers. So he is down, but he does have one TP. Oh, they both got one of these building rears. So yeah, so he lost one TP here. So he doesn't have double TP stagecoach. Only single TP stagecoach right now. Losing a blockhouse. He's making Opronix. Is that what he wants to make, though? Really? <sighs> and look at this. This is classic A's all over. Going for the... Uh, he's doing the osteo here. And look, it's all about trying to distract him. See if he finds an opportunity to take down these artillery pieces. Couple more organ guns coming in here, though. Oh, they're gonna do so much damage! Minutemen as well. Maybe the, the yeah, the melee with the minutemen. But look at this! One Opronic and a load of Baron archers. Cav archers gonna come in there, sneak, sneaky up the rear, getting those two organ guns. So that is a fantastic trade there for A's. Almost a thousand resources down the drain. And look at this! Look, Pirashiki's been forced to come backwards. He wants to push. Go on, Ace. Go on. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> Another villager bites the dust. 41 vills for Ace. He's making some culverins. This is what this is all important for. That's why he wants to buy time. Get his culverins out. Only needs a couple. Organ guns died to one hit of a culverin. Forty-one veils. He has his church, but he hasn't shipped his uh, reformist Tsar in yet. Some Casadors. Okay. Let's go back over to Pirashiki Kids. 46 Vils. 
Still traps. Still traps. 15 minutes still traps. Quite a late still traps coming in here. But when you play against Russia, that shit happens. Nice. Pirashiki kids taking full advantage of A's. Getting the, the tech for the training post. Getting the stagecoach techs for the training post. And he's taking full advantage of that. Saying thank you very much. Nice micro there. Two culverins for two organs. He might not actually lose them, though. He's going to lose one. Is he going to lose the second one? Stilette's coming out. Perfect timing. Stilette's going to counter those musketeers. Especially if they're trying to chase the culverin, which has 75% range as this. That's why you always want to melee artillery if you can. Okay, now Pushiki probably taking a different approach here. Going for... No, he's still making some organs as well. Okay, that's fine. That second TP does go down. It's looking good for Pirashiki. He's up 2k score. He's up more villagers. He's got more TCs. He's got more TPs. He's got better mass, better units. Still has that one culverin alive. Still very important unit there. Still want to keep that one culverin alive. You know more organ guns are likely going to be coming in here. Oh, is he going to catch these? Is he going to catch these two organ guns? Does he see it? Oh, he 100% could have seen that. Pirashiki kids, he sees the free Falconess. That's going to be Ace's trump card here. Bring that culverin in. The question is, one Falcon that goes down. These musketeers, he's taken, he's taken a chance here. By diving in those musketeers. Let's see if it's going to pay off for him. The culverin at the north is going to be sneaky. Going to come in from the north. Two falconets down now. I think one's going to survive just by the skin of his teeth. And the culverin from the north. And that falconet just goes down with that musketeer's dying breath. Gets that bayonet stuck in there before it goes taken down. And all in all, a pretty good trade for A's. But still just stuff alive here. The Pirajiki kids. Using this as a falconet here. The pseudo falc. Oh, yeah. The Casador's going to catch it. Oh, and you're even putting a Casador in melee there. <laughs> I love it. Nice. And that. But that culverin did work. So I think A's got two culverins this game. And he's taken with those two culverins, he took down. He managed to take down four organ guns in total. So very, very good trade there. His three falconets did get taken down by musketeers, though, which is. Ah. Which does hurt, but he survives to fight another day. He lives to fight another day. Blockhouse is going down. Stable going down. 58 villagers for Ports. Look at that. Look at Ports macro here. They're you know, looking really, really good. He's still in his kind of in his base. He hasn't needed really to pull out here. Um, to push out in onto the map really that heavily. He did have double TP, but that TP got taken down by A, so nice stuff again. Vying for this middle TP. It's a lot of resource worth. Once again, still more organs coming for Pirashiki kids. He's now going for Hazar switch, which I really like. A's building another cover in. Still on a single TC. Oh, Pirashiki's going to see that. Making some veteran Cossacks. Organ Gun's going to get a nice volley here. Oh, Hazard's coming in as well. So even if that organ gun gets taken down, I mean, he'll take that. Yeah, he'll take that. But the Hazards are going to clean up. Look at look at Aze's, uh, look at his resources as well. So much resources here. Colvin getting built. I can hear in my ear. We do have the sound bug now. <laughs> oh, Aze not paying attention. Oh. Aze, no. Don't lose your Colvin like that. Oh, he takes one down. Is he going to survive long enough to get the target lock? Oh, no. He just about moves out of vision. Smart stuff there by Pirashiki to move that organ gun downwards. Ace could have taken both there, but it's not looking good for him, is it now? He's 6k score down. What does he ship here? He shipped his 19 Strelets. Uh, he shipped both resource cards, two Falks, every military uh, shipment pretty much. What does he have left? He has so many resources. He could actually ship the, uh, the church card. The reformist to Zarkas. He's got his church already. He's almost got a thousand wood. Maybe that's what he's saving for. Okay, veteran Hus now. So much Hus coming in. 
So many veils over here. Oh, is this going to be the end? So much siege over here. Oh, 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 where did all this, where did all this come from? Hey, just control yourself. I can't control myself. Where did all these units come from? Cossacks put a bit from the stable perfectly. Oh, Ace, this trap. Just when it was looking super over, Ace just pulls it back out of the bag. Is he going to be able to come out of this on top, though? There's a lot of hazards here. There is a lot of hazards here. There are some anti cap, but there's still some must left. It's looking, still looking good for Pirashiki kids. <laughs> All I can hear because of the sound bar. Like, arr, arr. More Cossacks popping. They are veteran Cossacks as well, so they will they will do well versus you know they'll hold their own against Hazars. <laughs> Love the sound bites in this game. Here comes Reformist Hazan. Look how much wood he's got. So he's gonna that's gonna give him the counter dragoons is that going to be enough to i mean it's going to do oh i mean it will clean up the hazards right in comes that tech saint petersburg dragoons it will turn the rest of his like veteran uh his, sorry his cab archers into counter dragoons but he's already shipped them so i don't think he's going to be able to make any more sure. there they come nine counter dragoons and he's not able to send any more because he's already sent the Cav Archer. It would be cool if the card lets you send... If you've already sent a Cav Archer card, it'd be cool if it let you send it again and it kind of essentially replaces that card with the Counter Dragoon rather than Counter Dragoon. You know, if it's already been sent, you can't send it again. So nice micro here by Pirushiki Kids. He kind of sacks off a couple of Hazards to and the Musketeers to uh, delay the Counter Dragoons. It's going to buy him... Save a, a decent seven or eight batch there. So nice micro by Pirushiki Kids. He's still at 4k score. 52 villagers for A's. A's is now desperate. He's got so much wood. And guys, top tip. Lionheart's top tip of the video. If you are on a water map and you find yourself in like this age three stage of the game or late age two in the game, and you've got just so much wood and, and you're running out of resources on the map, plonk down docks. Plonk down. Like, don't be afraid to put lots of docks down. Two, three, even four docks. If you've got lots of wood like this, don't be afraid to plonk those docks down and pump those boats out, baby. Pump, pump, pump. That's what she said. Fifty-three bills for A's, but like we said, you know he's got. Okay, he's got one dock down. I'm sure he'll build another one yet. <laughs> he, he built this on the cliff, so it looked like he wasn't able to actually build it. So I would like to see three docks here from A's, even four docks, and he could really, he's got 31 bills on wood, just pump out all of those juicy, juicy boats. 4K score difference right now. It's a deficit for A's. He's been hanging on this game by a sliver. Okay, come on, A's, show us what you got. Pirashiki kids on 81 villagers. Look at all of this infrastructure going down. He's setting up shop. Hazars coming in. Got so many eco cards like economic theory, cigar roll, sustainable agriculture. It's not looking good for my boy A's. He needs a trump card. He needs. And talking of trump card, that might just be it. Super of reforms coming in now. Oh, how many, how many strelets does he have? He's got 70 strelets and he's got another 10 on the way. He's going to have 80 strelets. That's going to convert all of those strelets. Super performs. All your strelets transform into musks, into recruits. That he's going to have. Look at that. Just about those strelets coming in clutch. He's going to have 80. 80. And he's pushing. 80 musks coming in. Oh, 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 is this going to be what he needed? Is this going to be what he needed? Come on, Ace. So many masks. It's like a revolt card, this is. It feels like a revolt card. You keep all your economy. He just needs to deal with those organ guns. If he can deal with those organ guns, I think he's going to be fine here. They got a few shots off more than I would have liked, but I think he's going to be able to push Burusiki Kids back here. He is, and more Hazard's coming out, but that's going to be good for A's. 
Count Dooku is still alive. Wow, it's still six of them. They hit like tanks. 300 HP with 20% range resist as well. They trade well versus Musketeers. And look at this. Ace actually pushing in here. He's got a few units over here as well. <laughs> now shipping the Ransack card. <laughs> we saw that earlier. That's going to buff his uh, siege attack by 50%. <laughs> no way is that. The question is, by the time that gets here, is he going to have enough steam left over for that Ransack card to kind of be worth it? We'll have to wait and see. Still holding on. He's trying to deal with that artillery, which I definitely thinks a good idea. Come on, Ace! Only 2k scored down now. He's closing the gap. Recruits now have 30 siege attack. That is awesome. Compared to a veteran musketeer, which uh, you know, normal musketeers are stronger anyway, only has 24 siege attack, so that's really good. Ah, oh, he's it looks like he's just about running out of steam here. Pirashik, did he ship eight bows? He did, he was forced to ship eight bows. Look, shipping an A2 card at 26 minutes of the game just to hold that rush. That is a win for eight. Eight bows. And A's runs out of steam, but look at this. He's got a couple of blockouts saying, I'm taking back the map, thank you very much. I've got the water control now. Now I'm taking control of the land. What an incredible push there for A's. 80 recruits. My goodness me. What is the math? What is the math on the, how much units he just, uh, how much like resource he, he gave himself there by turning all of those strelets? How, how much is a strelet? A strelet is what? 60 resources compared to a recruit, which is 100 resources. So every unit he changes, he gains 40 resources. So you, 40 times 80. Uh, that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. It, that's over. It's over 3,000 resources. Um, I mean, you do it to 1,000, it's almost 4,000. So it's probably like 3,000, 3,000, 3,500, 3,600 or something like that. So he literally, I think my math's correct. Maybe it's a bit more than that, actually. So he saved over. He Okay, let's say it like this. He, all, that card was almost gave him 4,000 resources worth of units. Almost 4,000 resources. That's insane. That is insane. Think about that for a second. An H, an H3 card that gives almost 4,000 resources. That is insane. I'm pretty sure my math's correct there. I'm sure the chat will... I might have it completely way off. And uh, chat might absolutely slate me. I'm not going to go into the calculation right here because I'm casting, but <laughs> get my calculator out. Okay. 87 villagers for Pirashiki kids. He's making more artillery, making more coal runes, as is A's. Three organ guns here. Going to try to push some of these block houses back. A's, the score's pulled further away now, though, for Pirashiki. He's down 4K deficit. Holman's coming in, but I think he's going to see it. The TC line of sight is real. And Blockhouse survives for now. Oh, my God. What an intense game this has been. If A's manages to clutch this out, oh, my God, this will be insane. This would be insane. He goes back for seconds against the blockouts. And I think this time, seconds is going to fill him up enough to take it down. But A's, look, A's is on 78 villagers. Look, counter infantry rifling coming in. So the Strelets are going to get an extra multiplier versus his Musketeers. That's very, very smart. Look at that 7k score now, though. Ah. Oh. And a fort going down. Pirashiki, that's such a smart fort placement. Oh, my. I like going for the fort there as well. Not going for... Could have gone for an uh, like economic theory, which would be like worth almost 10 villagers at this point. 
it would literally be worth 9.6. So round it up to 10 villagers. It would be worth 10 villagers right now. But instead, he wants to go for the defensive. Or, which I actually really, really like. Always send that eco card later. Can't always save his eco later. And that's what the fort's going to provide him. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, Cossacks from the north. Oh, Cossacks from the north. Culverins from the east. Strelettes from the south. He's flanking from everywhere. Oh, and the beautiful Colvin shot. The three organ guns going down. Strelettes flooding his base. Strelettes have been buffed as well. Ace has shipped the new order regiments. He has. These things have 100 HP now. Is this going to be enough? Recruits have 165 HP. 32 siege as well. No, two more organ guns coming in to save the day. Hiroshiki's getting cold feet, though. You just know it. Aze wants to end this game. Oh, my God. What an insane game this has been. <laughs> oh, my God. No one's gone for the TPs yet. Interesting. More Strelets coming in. What's he sending in? Strelet combat. 20% hit points. 20% all action damage. Falconet on the way as well. Maybe clutch two in there. He does. He's almost at max pop. I love this. Aze is just making pretty much every type of unit possible here. Cossack, Strelets, Muskets. Colvin's coming in. Is he going to find the organs fast? He is, and he double kills. Nice. When you're under that much pressure, that is not always easy to do, by the way. Another organ gun at the back, though. Look at this. Strelets now with Strelet combat. Look at these things. 120 HP, 13 range damage with a free multiplier. They do 39 damage to musketeers. 39 damage to musketeers. He's flooding the Strelet. Flood is here. Zars trying to connect onto the, the, the culver infinite. <laughs> Strelets do not do well versus the Zars. They do well versus the muskets, but not versus the Zars. <laughs> Trying to protect his Colvin. Oh, you'd love to see it. Look at the scores now. There's only 2k deficit. His ace clutching his back. I blinked and he's on 94 villagers. The water boom is real. Strelet's flooding into his base, and that's what Strelet's do well. He's got 23 fishing boats. He's had one TC the entire game. Oh, and Pirashiki calls it. Pirashiki calls it. I don't believe it. Pirashiki, he's down. He's up 2K score, but Pirashiki actually calls it. Oh, my God. He actually called it. I mean, he still has the fort, but can he, he just doesn't have any units out right now other than some hazards, and he just calls it. He literally calls it. Hayes is on 94 villagers, flooding Strelets. Was it over? Was this over? Or was Purushiki just, just gone, fuck this, I'm out. I can't be dealing with this anymore. Wow. <laughs> what an incredible game that was. We had Suvirov Reform, Strelet Combat showing how good that card is. The Counter Dragoon play. My goodness me. A's somehow clutching that against Pirashiki kids, against the Portugal boom. That was just insane. Look, look at his village account, by the way. Like, just one TC. One TC kept up with the free TC boom there. Look at that. That's actually pretty incredible. Up until here, where there was a big disparity, but that was because A's got raided here. All resources gathered was really close all game as well. How does A's do it, man? 229 strelets to 131. That doesn't take... That is just insane. That is just insane. Guys, what an incredible game. Suvirov reforms coming in clutch again. Every time I see that card, it dominates. And he got 80 uh, strelets converted into musketeers. Guys, tell me exactly how much resource that is. But I'm getting around 4,000, just under 4,000, maybe 3,700-ish.
And uh, yeah, what an insane card. If you think about that from a resource perspective. Absolutely insane. Guys, hope you enjoyed that one. And I will catch you in the next game. Peace.